Biohazard warning. Entering contaminated zone. Transmissions jammed. Proximity coverage only. Backup activated. System rebooted. Agents, what's going on guys? Hope your weekend is off to an amazing start. And with all this new information about Last Stand, as well as 1.6, I mean, what's not to like? Wasn't it last week's vendor reset where I was asking for some Last Stand information, or at least hoping for some? <laughs> the gamer gods must have heard me. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching another Sly Nation video. I am always thankful to have such awesome viewers, subscribers, and friends here on YouTube. And as I always say, this is your channel as much as it is mine. So if you would like to see any other type of content, or if you have any ideas at all, feel free to hit me up in the comments below, on Twitter, or even my email, which you can find on my YouTube homepage. So before we start our weekly reset journey, if you haven't seen all of the latest news so far, check out this video right here. It's a quick rundown of all of the major changes coming to update 1.6 as well as Last Stand. Now it does not go into detail about weapons, gear sets, skill, armor, and stuff like that. Some of that is pretty detailed. And this video just didn't seem like the right place to take 10 minutes to explain one topic while so many other things needed announced. So I will have another in-depth video explaining all of those changes. But this one delivers all of the major stuff you can expect to see. Highly recommend it if you're curious about what our next step is in the division. Alright, well as you no doubt have heard by now, there will be no new world tier or gear score increase with this next update. So that means if you want to tackle the new and harder content coming with Last Stand, then you're going to need to start finding the best weapons in the game. So guys, let's do just that. Here's hoping RNG shows us a little love this week. Alright guys, let's go ahead and do it. It's Friday, January 21st. It's my birthday! Nice, and this is your Division Weapon Reset Guide. So as always, we're starting with the base of operations and checking to see what new goodies lie inside. So first up, the Armory, and by the way, I talked briefly about the microtransactions coming to the new in-game store. But one thing I forgot to mention is this new thing called Backpack Skins? Like, what? A skin for backpacks? <laughs> Out of everything they could have added, man, they add skins for backpacks. That's what they came up with. Anyways, just thought that was a little weird. Alright, so let's pop in, guys, and take a look. So as usual, we're skipping the main weapons, which, by the way, will now be called Exotics in 1.6, and starting with the rotating inventory. So first up, big surprise, Sidearm in 1911 for 1.3 million Light Zone credits. 310 rounds per minute with 7 in the mag. Talents are Expert and Swift. Not bad. But it's a sidearm, like I always say, why buy one? Next, we're checking out the Black Market TH-21 for 1.7 million Light Zone credits, and primaries from now on that use this type of currency will cost the same, about 1.7 million. So this bad boy starts off at a pretty low 29% critical hit damage, 550 rounds per minute with 32 in the mag. Talons are predatory, swift, and talented. Not a bad weapon, but the talents definitely need some work. Moving along here, we have the hard-hitting military AK-47M. 21% armor shred with decent damage at 600 rounds per minute, 30 in the mag. Talents are prepared, fierce, and accurate. This is an overall pretty good weapon, guys. Now be aware that fierce is electronics locked, which sucks for the current meta we're in, but as you know, that will soon change. Overall, this weapon is pretty hard to beat, and compared to other AKs, the damage is rolled on the low side, but it is still no slouch. Next, we have the Tactical SASG 12K. 307.5% stagger at 180 rounds per minute with 7 in the magazine. Talents are again pretty good here, guys. Destructive, Vicious, and then Ferocious. This is a great PvE shotgun. If you could switch out Vicious for Brutal, you would have an absolute beast. Now, the thing about Ferocious, Brutal, and Destructive is that they are all talents that will work with every single shot. It's not like Fierce or Vicious where it has a chance to work it will work, and that's what makes a big difference. I actually like this shotgun a lot. Next, we're coming into another showstopper, the SOCOM M1A. 149% headshot damage at 300 rounds per minute with 10 in the mag. Talents again, pretty damn good, guys. Destructive, fierce, and then brutal. There are a ton of things you could do with this weapon to make it just a little bit better, but it is damn good as is. Matched with a good gear set and pulse, you could have yourself quite the killer here. And finally, we come to the military M60E. 
a pretty good 14% damage out of cover with decent damage at 500 rounds per minute and of course 100 in the mag. Talents are accurate, predatory, and dominant. Now guys, is it just me or did LMGs get like some kind of stealth buff since the maintenance? This week they're all rocking decent damage like up in the high 17Ks. At least for me they are, and in the past week it was hard to get them out of the 15K. I don't know, it seems like they've had a boost all of a sudden. Anyways, I could just be going crazy, no big deal. But alright, well that's it for the armory, so our next stop is down to the terminal where our special equipment vendor is. So, let's make our way down to him and then shortly after we'll check out what the blueprint guy has to say as well. Alright, so let's pop in and take a look. Now, just like the armory, I skipped the exotic weapons and hit up rotating stock for the week. So, first up, what a surprise, another sidearm. An officer's M9A1 with expert and ferocious. Not a bad weapon, but you know me in sidearms. This one costs right about a thousand Phoenix credits, as most sidearms do. As for primaries, they're all going to run you about 1250. And our first primary for this week is a converted SMG9 for 1248 Phoenix credits. 36% critical hit damage, 825 rounds per minute with 32 in the mag, and the more I mess around with this weapon type, the more I start to like it. Talents are vicious, capable, and determined. You know, the SMG9 is the same weapon as the Valkyria up here, but with 1.6, we're getting a new weapon type, exotics. They're basically just all named weapons, but within exotics will be another type of weapon, and those are exotic pairs. The Valkyria will no longer exist in 1.6 and instead be split up into one of these pairs. It will be called the Hildur and the Eir, or Eir, E-I-R, not really sure what that is. But anyway, no word on what kind of weapon they will be or what the exotic talent will be, but I'm all for bringing in new ideas into the world of weapons. Okay, so enough about that. We're checking out the tactical MK-16 next, basically the black sheep of ARs for some reason, but guys... This one here is actually pretty damn good. 20% armor shred, 625 rounds per minute with 30 in the mag. Talents here, fierce, destructive, and then sustained. All great talents, and this is probably the best MK-16 I've seen, guys. I mean, Mark 16s don't come around that often, but when they do, they're usually pretty boring. Damage roll for this one is good, talents are very good, and if you up the rate of fire just a little bit to put it in the same rate of fire as like an ACR, you're going to have a weapon that will beat out most guns in terms of damage to rate of fire. Now it does have some balance issues, so accuracy and stability need to be taken into account, but this is definitely a very good weapon to mess around with. Alright, so guys, next up, a military M870, 341% stagger with 75 rounds per minute, 5 in the mag, talents are dominant. Brutal and trained, not too bad, but there will be better ones coming up here very shortly. Besides, if you bought the blueprint last week, you're good to go on the M870. Next, we have the Tactical M700, 159% headshot damage, 54 rounds per minute, 7 in the mag, talents are fierce, determined, and elevated. Eh, meh. And finally, we come to a military L86 LSW. Now, unfortunately, guys, these have lost their charm. They went from being, like, one of the best LMGs to now they're somewhere in the middle. And this one fits that category perfectly. A good 14% damage out of cover with low damage at 610 rounds per minute, 30 in the mag. Talents are preserved, adept, and then destructive. Moving down to armor, there is one thing here that's worth a note, and that is an awesome Alpha Bridge chess piece. Now, it does need a little work. What you can do is either try to roll above 1200 in stamina, or if you want to think in the short term, up the armor a little bit more. Or perhaps maybe even roll for ammo capacity. Alpha Bridge is seeing a huge nerf in 1.6, and with the huge reduction in armor, health and stamina will now be the way to go to up your toughness. So since armor as a major attribute will be automatically switching over to health on all armor pieces, that's chest, backpack, mask, knees, gloves, all of them, it's probably best to reroll for higher stamina instead of wasting your reroll on higher armor, when here soon it'll be completely irrelevant. Now besides that, there's a pretty good Osprey Suppressor here, tons of accuracy, headshot damage, and stability. It's a level 34 mod, so it's definitely one of the better ones. But that does it for this guy, so let's move over to the Blueprints guy and see what he has. And unfortunately, it's nothing earth-shaking. We have a PF45 sidearm for 750 credits, and then an SASG12 Blueprint for about 1,000, which is definitely the better option of the two. Also, if you're looking for some better mods, there's an extended mag blueprint here as well, which is probably the most used mag mod in the division. It's also level 34, so that's definitely where it's at. 
All right, agents, well, that completes out the base of operations tour. Next, let's take a stroll around the city and check out each of the safe houses. Now, I'm only stopping at the weapon vendors because we'll still have the DZ to check out, so let's get to it. So, first on the list, the Crypt, with a tactical ACR for 1.7 million LZ credits. Unfortunately, it's not that good. Low armor shred at 19%, low damage roll at 760 rounds per minute, 30 in the mag, talents don't do that much either, commanding, swift, and skilled. Next, we're heading over to the Grindhouse and checking out one of my favorite SMGs, the Navy MP5N. 30% critical hit damage, which is actually pretty low, but it has decent damage for 800 rounds per minute with 32 in the mag. Talents are competent, sustained, and dominant. While I love this weapon type, this particular weapon, eh, not so much. Alright, moving on to the last call, and we're checking out a really nice LMG, the Military Mark 46. 13% damage out of cover with good damage here at 550 rounds per minute, and of course a buttload in the mag sitting at 100. Talents, also very workable, skilled, vicious, and then fierce. While it's a great SMG setup, that doesn't mean an LMG will not benefit from this, because it definitely will. Reroll skilled for perhaps accurate, brutal, deadly, responsive, swift. I mean, anything that helps with DPS. And this will probably be one of the better LMGs that I've seen sold in a very long time. Now, like I said earlier, all of a sudden LMGs seem to be good. I don't know how that happened. But anyway, while the rate of fire isn't all that, a mag mod can easily fix it. And with 100 bullets in the mag, you can instead mod other areas of the weapon. So if you're looking for an LMG, guys, this is definitely not a bad choice. Alright, moving along to the meat locker, we're back to another M870. This one is an MCS, the Military Combat Shotgun. And this is the one I was talking about earlier when we were looking at other M870s in the base of operations. This one is pretty good, guys. 318% stagger, 75 rounds per minute with 5 in the mag, but talents are what set this thing apart. We have self-preserved, vicious, and then ferocious. Another great PvE shotgun. Now it's great by itself, or a quick reroll could further improve on it. Good damage roll in comparison to the others this week, so if you need a shoddy, this one is definitely the one. Alright, so let's keep this train moving. Next we're heading to Camp Hudson, the good old hub. And guys, is it me, or are there quite a few good weapons this week? And I was hoping to see another from Moss for sale sooner or later, but that hasn't happened yet, which kind of sucks. Either way... This is turning out to be an awesome week. Okay, so Camp Hudson, another M700 Tactical. 54 rounds per minute with 7 in the mag. We have Swift, Destructive, and Elevated. If any weapon makes good use of Swift, it's weapon like this one or the M44. Definitely makes a big difference. Okay, next we're heading back to the boo for a second because I always forget this dude by the door. He has the forgotten classic FAL. 22% armor shred, great damage, and 650 rounds per minute with 20 in the mag. But remember guys, this one is a 3 round burst weapon. Talents are adept, responsive, and predatory. Alright, moving over to Kerman Station, we have another M870, 320% stagger with competent, self-preserved, and meticulous. And then finally, we hit our last stop, which is the Wolf's Den, and here we come across the G36C. 18% armor damage at 750 rounds per minute, 30 in the mag, talents are talented, brutal, and focused. Also, not a bad starter weapon. It definitely needs some work, don't get me wrong, but you could make this into something pretty good. Okay, so that rounds up all of the safe houses. Next, we're going to give the DZ a little love and then check out its main weapons vendor. After that, I'll list all of the top weapons from each of the checkpoints. And just like everything else today, there are a couple of good ones in there as well. So, let's head in and take a look. First on the list, just like every other vendor, a sidearm. Putting you back a nice 333000 DZ dollars. It is a first wave PF-45. Talents are expert and trained. Meh. Moving along, another black market T821. 35% critical hit damage comes with meticulous, dominant, and talented. And then next we have another G36C. 18% armor damage, 750 rounds per minute with 30 in the mag. Talents aren't too bad, guys. Competent, fierce, and focused. While this is a decent weapon, the other one from the Wolves Den was way better. It had a higher damage roll, and even though our numbers aren't the same, the percentage of damage on each weapon will be. So the other one is definitely going to be higher for you as well. So if you're looking for a G36, this one right here is not the one. Alright, moving along here, we have a Marine Super 90 
302.5% stagger, and surprise, this one is good as well. Talents are accurate, brutal, and determined. Now change out determined for destructive, and guys, you're good to go. And next, we come across another M700, but this time, it's a carbon. 165% headshot damage with 54 rounds per minute, 7 in the mag, talents are sustained, predatory, and elevator. Then our final last weapon in the DZ vendor, another LMG, the classic M60. 13% damage out of cover, 500 rounds per minute with 100 in the mag, and it comes with self-preserved, predatory, and vicious, also not too bad. Okay, well, that wraps us up here, guys, and finally, I'm going to show you all some of the better weapons around the checkpoints. So, here we go. We'll start off at the top left and work our way around clockwise, and our first stop is West 46th Street Checkpoint. Here you'll find a lightweight M4. 21% armor shred with commanding, prepared, and deadly. It's not amazing, but with a little work, it could be halfway decent. Next up is the West 42nd Street Checkpoint, and here you'll find a Scar L. 22% armor damage with decent damage overall at 625 rounds per minute, 30 in the mag. Talents, now compared to others, it's so-so, commanding, responsive, and sustained, but its raw damage is pretty good. Up the rate of fire and then change one talent to make it halfway decent, and that would make a pretty big difference. Next up, we're checking out the East 31st Street Checkpoint, and here we have ourselves another killer M1A. The previous one we saw had headshot damage in the 140s, but here it's in the 160s, so it's definitely a lot better. About the same damage as the last one, but talents are again what sets this thing apart. Prepared, commanding, and brutal. If you change out commanding, you'll have yourself an awesome M1A. Accurate would be great, destructive, ferocious. If you're a PvE person, any of those would increase its damage, and it's already a beast. Again, another great M1A here. And finally, we hit our last stop for the day, and that is the East 53rd Street Checkpoint, which is at the very top right. And I know I hate on sidearms, but the 93R, guys, is just plain fun. Talents are expert and sustained, which probably doesn't make a big difference, but going around the light zone with the 93R is just a fun thing to do. I highly recommend it. All right, that's it, agents. Now, this is the kind of week we should be having every freaking week, man. Tons of great weapons to fix up, and even though it's missing that one, you know, like, pristine god roll, I'd rather have something to look at than a complete letdown any day of the week. So, that's it for me, ladies and gents. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and for supporting my channel. Now, if you haven't already, give my 1.6 and Last Stand video a watch so you guys can get the quick rundown of what's changing here soon. I'll be working on my skill, talent, gear set, and weapon changes videos on Monday, so definitely keep an eye out for that. As always, couldn't do this without the nation behind me, so thanks for keeping my channel going. If you want to stay up to date on everything Division, Mass Effect, Destiny, whatever, follow me on Twitter, at SlyNation. It's the best way to hear about breaking news, as well as new videos being uploaded about the channel. Thanks for watching, guys, and keep an eye out for more videos coming out of Sly Nation here soon, but until then... This is your boy Sly, and keep being awesome.